a few other points to make to build upon and expand upon the ones in the first part here. I, I'm doing it in two parts just because of memory issues on my phone. As I've said, it's not ideal. Ideally, I just do one video around five or six minutes, but you know, phone's not working great and it's better that I just get the information out there as I've said before. So uh, quickly, it's very important to clarify. I make an effort to not take sides in my discussions of conflicts between different countries and nations on this channel. So I'm not I'm not saying like it's a good thing that, you know, our countries will be going from according to what some people have been shown in prophetic dreams. And there's good evidence that this will happen because multiple people have been shown this. I'm not saying it's a good thing that our countries will be potentially, I believe it's probably going to happen. Not 100 percent. I've seen uh, evidence for this isn't as solid as for other things that have been shown about the war. But I, I believe it's likely that this part will happen. This part happening being our countries going, you know, to the to the nations that attacked ours towards the end of the war to, for basically payback for to retaliate to get even. Uh, I'm not saying that's a good thing. I don't support it. That's just what a lot of people have been shown. I believe it will happen. Uh, like for myself, I, I, I vibe very very strongly with Russians. Like I get on really well with Russian people. Um, our countries will be at war with Russia. I can't ever imagine myself killing a, a Russian in combat because they feel like family quite frankly uh, and I really like the national character Russia's just going to be going through a dark phase just like our countries have in the past our countries have done bad things in the past so I'm best the best friend my best friend in this life was Russian so you know it's I'm not taking sides just want to it's very important for me to point that out and then the other thing I want to point out and clarify, which I realized I did in that first part, is that I'll, every, people have been shown that it's not just that New Zealand will be liberated and that the enemy forces will be kicked out and removed from the United States. We'll pretty much get all of us, will, almost all of us will get our countries back. Western Europe, people have been shown, will be liberated and also South Korea, South Korea. So all our countries will be free again in time, which is a positive piece of news. But So hold on to that if you're feeling despondent about all this. Uh, many people have been shown, including myself, I haven't done videos about it yet, that Israel won't survive. Israel will be finished. Uh, so that Israel will be gone. So people, that, that's a topic for a separate video. So some countries won't survive and other countries, new countries will emerge after the war too. That's something to bear in mind. And the technical term in terms of military history for what a, for the, the nature of this war is a ferric victory. Phyrus of Epirus was a general from memory from southern uh, from Greece, who led a campaign against the Romans in the period when the Roman civilization was still developing, and he beat the Roman army. But the, the term "ferric victory" comes from the name, the name of the sky, Phyrus of Epirus, because they won, they won the war, but the losses were so enormous that it was almost tantamount to defeat. So it will be a ferric victory that our side experiences in this war. But we, we will win in the end. We will get our countries back. And I've put a link to the Wikipedia article about Ferret Victory in the description box below if you're interested and want to learn more. Thanks.